All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word and sincerity and truth. All right, this lesson is going to be entitled "Discern." Discern. All right, and um, why you know I wanted to touch on this word "discern." It's because the time that we actually living in and um you know i come across conversations with people and um you know always getting into a spiritual discussion about the truth you know that's like every day you know and um and and i realize you know that jake you know jake is you know jake is finished man you know i've been realized this but you know just it's just the spirit man you know the lord is only truly dealing with the elect the elect of Israel, you know, right now, the Lord don't look at, don't look at the so-called Negroes. Let me say this. The Lord don't look at the two thirds of Israel as Israelites. He look at them as heathens. Okay. They are heathens to the most high. And the ones that are Israelites in his eyes is those of the whole four elect, you know, the one third, the 144,000 men, you know, these Th those who woken up to this truth and and is and really the lord has this strong delusion on them and he's blocked them from discerning the time you know can't get it all right so this is luke chapter 12 and i'll start at 49 i am come to send fire on the earth and what will i if it be already kindled now this is jehovah shai speaking and this is written in red so i'm gonna read again he said I am come to send fire on the earth and what will I if it be already kindled all right because this place before the Lord return is going to be in an uproar it's going to be you know destruction man it's going to be chaos you know this place is already uh being set on fire man spiritually mentally you know this place is uh is done for it says I am come to set I have come to send fire on the earth and what will I if it already be kindled but I have a baptism to be baptized with and how am I straightened till it be accomplished suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth I tell you nay but rather division so everything that you have learned in the Christianity churches and the government churches is a lie you teach in these government churches that the Lord is coming to send, you know, to give a cupcake to a homosexual, you know, to, to love everyone. And we're going to be in this, this, this loving harmony, mad, uh, uh, manner, you know, the Lord ain't come for that. The Lord has come to destroy the wicked and redeem the righteous. It says, but I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how am I straight until it be accomplished? Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you no, but rather division. So the Lord is all about division. You know, there's no coming back for all the Israelites until Yahweh Shai bring us back. You know, so that's a cut on the unity camps. That's teaching that, you know, you come together, you come together and you can teach whatever doctrine it is. And it's because you call yourselves Israelites, you get along. Well, the scriptures say be peaceful with all men. The scriptures say be peaceful with all men, you know, but here it is. We can't come together and, uh, and, 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 and break bread because, you know, in the Lord, unless we swear some things away, you know, that's how it works. You know, the scriptures tell you to speak the same thing. It says, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. So the Lord is all about division. The heavenly father is all about division. You know, look what he did with the Tower of Babel. You know, when they tried to make themselves as one and build the tower. The Lord, what? He struck in them with different languages, man. Okay? And he divided the nations. That goes back to Deuteronomy. You know, he divided the nations. He didn't bring us all together. But the, ide the ideology and the ways that these Edomites are, are pushing in this society is that we all should be one. We all should come together. We all should love one another. Well, that ain't the Lord. And I'm going to say this again. The government is not the Lord. The Lord has the higher government. 
he is the most high. This is why one title we 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 reference him as the most high. He is the most high. Okay? The highest you can get. And he he established his government in the earth. And he established his rulers too. But except for his rulers had to learn a, a great lesson. And this is why the rulers right now are in captivity. And that are, and that is the Hebrew Israelites. All right? So um verse 52 it says for from henceforth there shall be five there shall be five in the house divided excuse me for from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided three against two and two against three the father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law all right and why is that because when you come into this truth the lord have chosen selective elective members and when it comes to these men more than likely you know more than most of the time you and your relatives in your household you're not going to see eye to eye when it comes to worshiping the true and living power and that's yahweh bashim yahweh shai so if the lord woke you up be thankful be thankful. And guess what? It tells us in Sirach, this the second chapter, uh, prepare thy soul for temptation. Because you are gonna you're gonna be tempted by Satan and you're gonna come at variance against your father, against your mother, all right, against your cousins, against whoever in your household or whoever your peers are, your friends. All right, when it comes down to this truth, the Lord is truly making a division, you know, and that's a beautiful thing. You know, and, and, and you as that in individual, you can't have this soft heart, you know, and well, let me say you can't be emotional. Let me say this. There's better words. You can't be emotional when it comes to this word, because the Lord said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. All right. And and it's things where you might not understand at the time. But the truth, the, the, the word when you read you know you you get understanding and sometimes it's, it's some things that you can't grasp yet because you ain't on that level yet but you have to have patience and and hold on fast to what you was learned and the lord will reveal what it was because the most high is righteous man okay most high is righteous and the men that he set up are righteous okay so you have to trust you have to believe in the lord it says um Verse, 50, uh, verse 53 again The father shall be divided against the son And the son against the father And uh, the mother against the daughter So you're going to have women That's going to come in this truth And you're going to be at a difference A variance with your mother Your grandmother Your great grandmother Alright You know A daughter and a mother You know is going to be set at uh, a difference A variance man Because why? One believes in the Lord And one doesn't believe in the Lord you know, do now, do you get that confused with dishonoring your father and your mother? No, you are, you honor them. All right. To the best of your ability, you honor them. And if you have age, you know, start praying and asking the Lord to, you know, help you get into your own place. Get up out of your, uh, your parents' place. Because when you're in your parents' home, you know, if you, if you, you have a, you know, uh, as Paul said, when I was a child, I thought I was a child, when I was a man, he thought I was a man. All right. When you are of a certain age, a young man or a young woman or, you know, a, you become that adult, you know, you want to have some type of liberty away from your parents so that you can serve the Lord. You know, if not, it's going to be tough, man. You know, because if you, they don't believe, then you're going to have a hard time. But that's what prayer, that's what supplication and praying to the Lord for. You know, there you go. Some some people I talk to, they say they don't know what they should pray for. Well, what do you mean? Pray pray to be delivered pray pray for uh the uh for the lord to bring the kingdom here on the earth you know pr pray to the lord to destroy the wicked pray pray for the kingdom pray for the brothers that's out there laboring and putting their lives up on the line there's always things to pray for there's always things to talk to the lord for if you 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 can't find what to pray for then you don't need a healer you healed already you, you don't need a healer all right and yahweh shai is the healer you know, I'm going to hit you with something. You know, when you read the, the miracles Yahweh Shah did, you know, he he spoke to those people and he said, you know, because of your faith, you have, you have made the whole. 
You know, it was their faith that made that made the miracle work because they believed. You know, even though we know the most high have done it, but it's because that individual believed. You know? If you don't believe, then what? The, the most high is not a hill unto you. You know? And that's scary. Alright. So anyway, uh uh it says, and daughter against the mother and mother in law against the daughter in law, and the daughter in law against the mother in law. Right. Verse fifty four. And he said also to the people, when ye see a cloud rise out of the west straightway, ye say, There cometh a shower. And so it is. And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, uh, There will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time? Exactly. You can look at the, the the clouds and you can see, oh shit, the clouds are dark. Oh, it's gonna rain, bro. Might get gotta get, gotta get an umbrella. You know. You could discern that. You know. You can discern even by just looking on your your Google search news, seeing what the the days will be for the following week that Esau puts out there. You know. See, these are things that you discern in if you want to know. You know. You can tell the seasons are changing, you know, the leaves fall off or the leaves grow. You can tell what season you in on the earth. But how is it you doesn't discern the end or or, or, or the time when Yahweh Shai is going to return? Why do you discern that? You know, so this, you know, reading this and having conversation with different folks, you know, are going to this word discern. Now, the Greek word is Strong's G, 1381. Dakimanzo. 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 If I'm saying that right. Dakimanzo. All right. It says, now this is the word discern. To test. All right. When you discern something, you put you put it to test. Because you're curious. All right. It says examine. So when you discern something, you examine it. Right. Prove. Scrutinize. And that word scrutinize is, is a good word, man. All right, for this matter, because scrutinize, you scrutin something, you scrutinize something when you want to discern the value of something or the measure of something, you know, the the, the goal of something, the, the examine, you examine it, man, you prove it, you test it out, right? Now it says, um, to see whether a thing is genuine or not, exactly, right? So if you... If you hear the men of the Lord speaking these words and and um you know and they're prophesizing and they're teaching the scriptures and coming out of the scriptures, you're supposed to scrutinize and go into the scriptures and examine and 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 listen and read, you know, for yourself. This is why we tell brothers, you know, when you come up to the camp that you know you don't gotta take our word for it. Go and scrutinize, go and examine for yourself. You know, in uh, Revelations it tells you, uh, blessed he that readeth. You know, go go look these things up for yourself. Go Google search. Go YouTube it, you know. Go read it, all right? Read the scriptures, you know. It says to test, examine, prove, scrutinize, to see whether a thing is genuine or not as metals, to recognize as genuine after examination, to approve, deem worthy, all right? So how do you, how do you um, discern the true men of the Lord from the, from the false men of the Lord? How do you discern from the true prophets to the false prophets? You have to discern. You have to scrutinize. You have to know prophecy. You have to see whether these men, when they, in their doctrine, what they're teaching. Does it fit the prophecy in the scriptures? All right? But then again, that's all the will of the Most High because he put that spirit upon the elect. And the elect, that's why uh, I must get this scripture uh, real quick. Let me get this. Um, this is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. Now it reads, And what then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. All right? Because the elect is going to obtain the truth because they scrutinized, they proved, they examined. You know? The Most High opened their spirits up to do those things. Those small little things. You know, it's, it seems... It seems small, 
but it's actually huge because that's the steps you take you know into what acknowledging your wickedness now this word is for the uh, for the israelites from the seed of your father if your father if the seed of your father your father goes back to being one of the israelites of the tribes you are israelite no matter what your complexion skin color eye color is it doesn't matter if your father's line go back to being of the israelites you're an israelite all right isaiah 46 and 3 which was born by me from the belly carried from the womb you have to be born an israelite all right and this word that, that we teach and we do these shows is for the elect you know building up your faith uh uh it's, it's for uh uh, excuse me it's for um edifying the building building upon your faith and toward your salvation you know so anyway it says what then israel have not obtained that which he seek it for and what what do they seek for they seek the truth it says but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded according as it is written god hath given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day all right and David say, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. You know, so <laughs> you don't want to be two thirds, man. This is why we have fear. Uh, Paul said, we know the terror of the Lord. So we persuade men, persuade men to do what? To follow the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. He that got ears to hear, let him hear. He that forbear, forbear. Scripture say, he that is ignorant, let him stay ignorant. All right. So um, jumping back to the word discern, to test, examine, prove, scrutinize, to see whether a thing is genuine or not, uh, to recognize as genuine as, I mean, to recognize as genuine after examination, to approve, deem, worthy, to try, to allow, like, examine. All right, so you got the picture there, man. You're supposed to discern the season and time that you're living in, all right? supposed to know what's going on i was just watching a video with uh dabu he put up and he and he spoke about how in mexico the brother uh the brother kahan in the camp he met he mentioned uh this weekend at camp that he saw from a brother another brother you know put it up about how it snowed in mexico that's amazing you know all these signs the, the eclipse in the sun the earthquakes that's happening right now in, in california you know to the sinkholes you know that are happening there was a sinkhole that happened here in jersey and woodbridge new jersey you know these are the signs of the lord and if you don't think so then you're gonna be shit out of luck and the most High gonna destroy you man all right so it says verse 56 luke 12 56 ye hypocrites ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth but how is it that ye do not discern this time Yea, and why even of yourselves judge ye not what is right? When thou goest with, thy, with thine adversary to the magistrates, as thou art in the way, give diligence that thou mayest be delivered from him. Least he held thee to the judge, and the judge delivered thee to the officer, and the officer cast thee into prison. I tell you, I tell thee, thou shalt not depart thence till thou has paid the very last might and this is a warning because you know what the lord set up is that you're supposed to discern this time because this is the time right before we're approaching jacob's trouble and in jacob's trouble the lord yahweh shai also he prophesied of 70 a.d the dispersion you know the disperse excuse me the disperse of israel you know leaving out of israel and never coming back to that homeland again all right so in this time just like in the past why, why why haven't you discerned the time in which you're living in you got uh people come to me they question this they ask that but then you turn around and talk about you know that you're going to school for this for this amount of long this time and you know or you want to do this it's like you know why you don't discern the time and that's just because hey the lord ain't dealing with you man you don't fear the lord you can't see you've been blinded you know, so don't get mad at me. <laughs> you know, Jake, 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 something else, man. Jake uh, uh, asks you a question and then they'll turn around when they don't like your answer. They get mad at you, man, because it's it's, it's hurting them, you know, because guess what? Uh, that's 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 this. That's this scripture that comes into mind. 
is that? Okay. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and a discerner. See, they go that word discern. And is a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. So, you know, when we speak, we don't come out of our own opinion and what we got to say. We reverence and we tell you what comes out of the scriptures. You know, Jake want to hear what we got to say. But we don't have shit to say. All right. We, we don't have nothing to say. All we have to say is what the Lord told us to say. So you can call us mockingbirds. You can call us whatever, whatever it is you want, man. Okay, it's still going cool. But um, like I said, I was interrupted there. But, um, you know, you can call us mocker birds. Uh, 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 you could call us robots. Well, we would gladly be that uh, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because this is his word that he wants out. And we're pushing it as, as hard as we can, man. So, you know, that's all I got. It's about 20 minutes in, I hope. Uh, those who tune in, those of the hopeful elect, you were edified. Uh, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.